it has not just changed my life. It has not just changed my career. It hasn't. It, it has changed everything about me. It has put me in a better place, in a better frame of mind. Um, it has grown my confidence. Um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You have changed my life. Hey, uh, my name is Wallace Agana. Um, I'm based out in Bournemouth in the UK, and I am an enterprise architect. When I joined um, Glocal Careers, I was just in the process of transitioning into technology. Um, I used to be regional. Um, I used to be in sales, regional sales for Southern and um, Western Africa. Um, but um, I knew that I was relocating into the UK, and I needed. To, I wanted to be in technology. I came across Mike's um, um, YouTube page. And it was very interesting. So I, uh, you know, I followed it and then I get on the program and I became, um, I came into technology. That's how I really got into technology. I am working in, I'm presently working in JP Morgan Chase. Um, I joined them about two, um, three months ago. Uh, my role is an enterprise architect. I'm responsible for ensuring resiliency um, in the cloud. So many things, so many things. I mean, the, the, the depth of content, the, um, the transparency and honesty, the value um, I was getting for everything. I mean, it wasn't just only um, the technical competency of, of, of for the program, but it was also the soft skills that you needed for um, you know, to be an architect and follow you know the the architectural roles. Um, and you know the value for me was, I think, what we were getting um, from the program. Um, it wasn't com com commensurate with the value. You know why? Because the value was so much lower than what Mike was giving. Um, Mike gave training for, you know, soft skills. He gave technical training. The depth was, was you know, it was, it was all that. Um, he also gave confidence. He also gave, and he, he was so broad. He, he gave real life examples of everything. You could relate with it. For me, it was, the experience was so much more worth the uh, much more than what was being you know charged for you know as a fee or anything like that i mean it was so much more you couldn't get it anywhere um i mean i've been in i've had the experience for 10 12 years but when the moment i joined the program i began to learn and learn and learn i became more confident i, I had gravitas you know i was able to present confidently you know i i had technical i began to get technical knowledge technical depth i mean it was so much more than you know um what we saw in the advertisements everything truly i'll tell you the contents, the training itself, the personal development, the confidence infused, um, you know, even the value, the price points, everything, everything. I, I also think that the honesty in, 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 you know, in, in the training, in telling you what to expect what not to expect what to do how to behave you know the vocabulary to use you know everything it is it it, it teaches you the full every day that's 
full day of a solutions architect. The things you might see, the things you're not going to see, the things that you need to have gravitas for, the things that you need to have competence and depth. It teaches you um, style in answering questions. It teach, teaches you interview, uh, you know, interview formulas, processes, and what interviewers are looking for. You have you you can't get that anywhere else. You, I mean, what you get is take give or take one or two. Yeah, but we have everything compressed into this program. Um, so for me, I, I think that it, it was just a life changer. I, 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 I think every time I say I'm happy and I'm also blessed that I came across this training, got on the training. And, you know, for me, that, that's that's how I look at it. It, it is an end to end thing. It's not just the technical thing. It is building you as a human being, building you as a professional, and then building you, you know, as an architect. I used to take community for granted, um, you know, when I joined other, you know, groups and all that. But the community in Group Cloud, it's 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 like family. You reach out to one person and they're willing to help. They are they are eager to help. They are like, oh, we're gonna go along in, in this journey together. Whatever I know, I'm happy to share. They are help, also happy happy to direct you to someone who know who needs seems to be a subject matter expert in whatever is it in preparation for interviews or is it in technical depths. I mean, I've met people um, in the community. I have. I've directly gone to them to say, look, I need help with networking. I need help with my interview skills. I need help with my confidence. I need help in breaking down um, a solution for me, for example, a monolithic solution in, and all that. And just telling me and trying to help. And everybody seems to want to help. The The community is, I think, is very closely knit. It's very, it's very I, I like to use family. When you, have, you see a Go Cloud, um, post a Google Cloud um, um, beneficiary or a Google Cloud student, there is this um, camaraderie. There is this, you know, that relationship of 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 family. We we are in this together, and we will achieve together. So for me, that was really what stood out um, during my trainings. Um, I'm still. In, I like to mention that um, I'm still in the class. I still log in from time to time. I still listen. I still learn. It is a lifelong thing. And that community for me is very important. <laughs> you, you don't have a specific, a specific duty every day. Every day is brand new. Something comes up. Um, application owners or application deployments come and because my role is in cloud resiliency i must ensure that the applications that are deployed in the cloud uh, is it either in the private cloud or in the public cloud um, are resilient um, you know using the best practices for example using if, if you're deploying on 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 the on the private or public cloud such as aws you need to have these resiliency principles of multiple availability zones, you know, um, auto scaling, you know, uh, um, security, all the works put together, um, your your um, recovery period for tolerance, you know, all that. You, and you need to come together, um, build, ha have a, a, an answer, you know, to these deployments and all that. So, one day can be very technical. Another day, it could be helping an application owner to, you know, build his design, his solution, to and ensuring that that solution is resilient and will, will, will. I mean, if it fails, it has the capacity to recover. You know, and some days you're just doing presentations or presenting to senior management on new development. You know, so. It, it is very diverse, uh, and, and that's why I appreciate the program because, you know, the program taught you not just only the technical competency, but you know that gravitas to um, to present to senior management, the vocabulary to use, you know, um, that presence, you know, um, but just generally that confidence that 
there is a problem and I'm here to solve or to help solve that problem. Um, so using your technical competence, your know-how, your skill, your gravitas, your selling skills, you know, your presenting skills, all that, all that um, put to one. And, and that's what really an architect does. He, you know, he's, he's, a, he's a problem solver um, and, and he needs to know his, 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 his onions. He needs to be confident and he needs to be able to sell his, his solutions. Um, and, and that's really what my day to day is. So you can't really say on a day like this, I'm going to have um, a, a problem that I'm going to solve. You don't know what comes up. So you, you need to be ready at every time and every day you are at work. I do not code. I don't know how to code, um, but I and I do not code. What I do is I design, I present, I sell, and I advise. Those are the three things, major things that I do. What was it like for me? It was a hundred and fifty percent commitment. I was working full time. I was doing school runs, picking up family. Um, and I was studying for my certifications. Um, for me, I knew that I had to give it a hundred percent, more than a hundred percent. I had to give it my all. So while I was doing this during the daytime, studying and joining the classes, of course, um, I was multitasking. But at night, um, I probably slept four hours a complete night for almost um, one year because I was studying, I was watching the videos, I was going back on auto replay, on, uh, um, on play, and I was rewinding, watching, practicing, reading, studying. For me, it was a destiny. I, I needed, it was a learning process. I needed to do it, but I, had, I knew I needed to commit to doing it. So um, I'm sitting on a chair here, same chair, same location, same room, but I, I did it, um, I committed to at least four hours or five hours a night to studying, to practicing, um, especially practicing um, the interviews, practicing, um, you know, using my vocabulary, practicing gravitas, you know, everything Mike said on the program, I try to do it. Um, I have a mirror right behind me and I stand in front of that mirror and I inter practice my interview skills, you know, but I also practice um, the technical bits. Um, I developed a formula and I mean, based on Mike's teaching, he taught what is it, how does it work and what's the benefit? And those were the formulas that I developed. I define what the pro the services, I tell you how it works and I tell you the benefit. And that's how I practice everything. I practice that with, the, with my interviews. I practice that on my interview, on my um, technical skills and just to really grow my confidence. So the, for me, the commitment was 150%, I will say, because I knew I needed to get, I needed to get this done. I needed to, um, you know, I needed to really change my life. And I'm happy to say I have changed my life. Um, not related to work. Um, it has made me, the program has made me much more confident. Um, I used to be in sales. I probably have sales skills. I probably have presentation skills. So I've built, built it over the years. But you see, this program cemented that. It gave me a lot of confidence. It helped me to build gravitas. Um, I'm able to really connect, meet people, talk confidently, um, ask questions if I don't know it, um, you know, really want to explore. Um, I mean, there's so much real life examples that Mike has given during the, um, you know, in, during the academy, in, during the classes, how he used to be a seal or breathing box breathing exercises, you know, stuff like that. Things that I've never really heard of. Things that I now go 
and research about and use in my private in my in my personal life. So I think it's I mean, how do I put it? I think Mike and the crew are doing the Lord's work. I, I'm blessed to have come in contact with them, come in contact with the academy, learned from the academy. Uh, because it has not just changed my life it has not just changed my career it hasn't it, it has changed everything about me it has put me in a better place in a better frame of mind um, it has grown my confidence um i just want to say thank you thank you thank you thank you you have changed my life